Let's make a Batman logo pendant with an SVG file downloaded from this site. Import it as a sketch. It comes in as one sketch all on one work plane, so you have to trim the parts that you don't want. Click on the sketch, then click on the parts to trim. If you want to trim more, just keep clicking, but I want to use this whole part. Click on the face and extrude it up. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other two faces. Hide the sketches and now adjust. You can click on each face again and push pull it to the level you want. Now make a loop. Drag in a cylinder. It helps to put this on the orthographic view first and place the cylinder in the center. Then push pull it to the same height. Snap a primitive circle to it because a primitive circle will snap to the center and then type in the size desired and extrude it down. Next, we have to combine the loop with the pendant. So click on Combine, click on the loop, click on the pendant, click on the workspace to finish, and now it's one item that you can highlight and send to Mesh Mixer. Here we'll size it and check it for 3D printing suitability. First, press T to bring up the Transform tool, rotate it, and then try to bring it closer to the facsimile of the printer drag that white cube to make the model smaller or larger and then accept. I'd like to size it. Click on Analysis, Units, Dimensions. There are the sizes and I'm going to adjust one of them and they'll all adjust proportionately. You can't adjust one side without affecting the others. Going to do some adaptive thickening. And then this is a strength check. All green is best, but I found that yellow is very strong too in the final print. Check the orientation for optimal position. Check overhangs. All you need to support is the bottom. Now you can either export it as an STL or send it to Mesh Mixer's print area where you can generate supports and do some other things or just send it directly to MakerBot Desktop.